Welcome to this new lesson on our programs. Today we will delve into Otis's idea. In particular, we will see how to make a technical drawing. On the left side of the screen we find all the tools that will allow us to make the drawing as mirrored shapes and objects, colors, images, etc. First, we start by opening our worksheet. To do this we go to the tab Start, Tool Size, and here we select the desired paper size on which we will work. Now we are going to insert the mannequin that will be the guide to draw the garment. Then we can decide whether to delete it or keep it and in this case add details such as hair and face to complete the image of our avatar. Click on the chosen mannequin and then on Insert. Rotating the scroll of the mouse we can zoom in and out to get a more comfortable view, while, if we keep pressed the scroll, it allows us to move the worksheet. Once the mannequin is inserted, we simply select it by clicking on it and start drawing the garment. In the toolbar we select Mirrored Objects, this tool will allow us to draw perfectly symmetrical shapes by creating its mirrored copy. The first left click allows us to decide where to set the center line, which in this case corresponds to the center of the body, then the second click will be done where we want to start the drawing. We rotate the scroll if we want to curve the line and now we make all the outline of the drawing. Every time we must change direction it will always be a left click. To conclude the shape we have to return to the first point and the moment we see a black dart next to the cursor we should do left click and then right to conclude the drawing. To exit the tool, we always use the right click. It is very important that when using this tool the start and end point coincide. This can be seen when, with the last line, you get to touch the start point and the cursor shows a black arrow. If the created piece turns white as in this case, then it means that you have closed the shape. If you still see the mannequin, the part has not been closed. This operation will allow you to later make changes to the piece such as, insert images and colors. Using the shapes and mirrored objects tools, the changes to the drawing will be made both to the right and to the left. So, in this case to have the placket of the shirt we separate the shapes by going to the tab creation, mirror tool, Split Mirrored Objects option and it will automatically separate the pieces. Let's proceed with the design of the neck. We will set a guideline that will allow us to find the center of the body. Then we select the mannequin, go to Organization, Guidelines tool and select the last icon with the t-shirt with a vertical line in the center. Now let's use another tool similar to the one used previously, named Mirrored Shapes. The purpose of this tool is equal to mirrored objects, but with the difference that it creates shapes directly from the central line by making a single piece. Place the symmetry line on the previously inserted guideline and make the first click where we want to start the drawing. As for mirrored objects, by turning the scroll we curve the line, left clicking to change direction and when we see the black dart we do left click again, then right to close our piece and again to exit the tool. Once the lines are done, we can move them. Holding down on the square point we can drag the line, while if we move the blue axis at the ends of the curves we will change their roundness. Let us remember that what we do on the right will be repeated on the left. We remove the guideline previously activated on Organization, Guidelines and this time click on the icon with the red X at the bottom. Let's proceed with the design of the sleeves. We use the mirrored objects tool again, we follow the shape of the armhole rounding the line, always remembering to return to the starting point to close the shape. Once the drawing tool is activated, if you want to zoom on the piece, you must hold down the Alt key, because the function of the scroll of the mouse will serve to curve the lines. You can also use the zoom, identified with the magnifying glass at the bottom right side of the screen or simply drag the sheet while holding down the mouse wheel. If you want to go back because you made a mistake or you don't like the last change you made, you can use the Ctrl-Z shortcut on the keyboard, or in the top left part of the screen you will find the left dart to go back and right to go forward. We continue with the creation of the cuff, we still use the tool mirrored objects following the same method used for the sleeves. 
Another tool that we always find in the left toolbar is shapes, marked by a pen. This tool allows us to create lines using the same method as the previous tools but without mirroring them. For the creation of the yoke and the various cuts we use the tool mirrored objects. Now we could simply create lines, but in this case, talking about the yoke, we have to create a closed shape and then insert the print that we will see later, while for the cutting of the sleeve we can simply draw a line. In the same way we draw the lines for the dart, remember to select first the center of our mirror and then proceed with the creation of the lines. Now we insert the seams. First select the piece where we want to insert the seam, holding control on our keyboard. Once selected, select the line where we want the seam. Once selected it will turn blue. We move to the tab application, tool available points. We select the desired stitch for the seam, click on apply and on the top part will appear a tab called seam. In this window we can decide all the characteristics of the inserted seam. First we modify the distance of the seam from the line, then we modify the thickness of the seam and finally the width of the stitches. We repeat this process on all desired lines. You can also copy the type of seam just inserted, without having to set it up every time. We always select with control the seam line that we want to copy, we go to the tab application, to the left we find the symbol copy effect. After that we click on the line where we want to copy the seam, always holding control, we return to application. We use the tool paste effect and the seam will be inserted. The seam has been copied, you do so on all the lines where you want the seam. In the opening of the shirt we insert a double stitch to simulate the placket. When inserting the seam we go to the corresponding tab where, in addition to the other features already listed, we can also change the distance between the two seams. We proceed with the insertion of the buttons. In the left bar of the tools we find the icon of the custom shapes. It will open a window with many types of images. In this case we select the button, click on insert and with the left click on the page if we want a direct insertion. For the insertion of images, we can also drag with the mouse and change the size as desired, and if we hold Alt on the keyboard the proportion of the object is kept. We color, color the outline of the button to make it more visible, select the button with a left click. Move on the color palette on our left, with the mouse cursor we decide the color we want to give and do right click. The contour of the button will color. Now we add the other buttons just by copying them. Right click on the object and select the copy and paste option for all necessary buttons. Place the buttons. Change the size of the first button, select it and holding shift select the remaining. Let's go to organization and click on same size. All buttons will take the same size as the first selected button. Always staying on organization. We select all the buttons always holding shift and click on align in vertical, you will see that all the buttons will align and after, in the spacing part click on vertical, the buttons will be equally spaced. Insert the button that must be placed under the neck in the same way that we have inserted the others. At the moment of insertion, however, the button will be placed above the collar. To change its arrangement between the layers of the drawing, always in organization. Click on one step back until the button reaches the correct position. Let's create the back now. In the left toolbar we select the mannequin tool and insert the back one. With the procedure that we will see now we will understand how to correctly mirror the design made on the front above the back mannequin. We select both mannequins holding shift. Go to organization, guidelines. Click on the last icon and block the guideline by clicking in the lock column. You will see that the center line will appear. Select the shirt, go to creation, click invert and holding down the control and alt keys at the same time. With the cursor follow the green center line to the bottom. The shirt will be copied symmetrically. 
we edit the back, delete the buttons and darts by selecting them and clicking delete on the keyboard. We recreate the yoke and the back using the tool mirrored shapes and bring the back one step back, using the organization tab to show the darts. We modify the neck by moving the points and the axis of the curves and finally insert the sticking of the hem. Now we insert the fabric printing. In the left toolbar click on the icon insert images. We look inside the computer for the image we want inserting it on the worksheet holding the left click to decide its size. Having the image selected, we go to the application tab and select the pattern print tool. With the square that appears we click inside the desired piece and in the window that appears we select not to optimize in order not to lose the quality of the image. Now we color the shirt, we can decide to take a color of the palette that we have on the left or extrapolate the color from the inserted image. In the left column click on the icon of the bin colors and a window will open. Click on the color picker and it will create a small square with which we will capture the desired color. Once the color is selected, click on the third icon represented by a blue square that will serve to insert the color inside the piece. Now we repeat this operation on the remaining pieces. At this time we can delete the mannequins, selecting them and clicking delete on the keyboard. To make our design completer and more detailed we copy the back, which will then be placed under the front. To do this we select the back, right click, copy option, right click again and paste, and drag the back over to the front. Let's go to organization and click on the back option. To conclude we save our file by entering information about the garment. Let's go to file, save as, enter the name of the file, in the description we write everything that could be useful to know about the garment, in the collection we enter the name of the collection of which it is part and finally the person responsible for this creation. Let us save. Our drawing is concluded. Thank you for watching this video, we invite you to also view the one concerning the register of fabrics, consumption, and costs always in Odyssey's idea to complete your technical sheet. We invite you to also view the one concerning the register of fabrics, consumption, and costs always in Odyssey's idea to complete your technical sheet.